back in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Bonjour everyone, hope you're all okay. Hello, welcome to Caravan Corner again. It's a bit deja vu, I know I keep we saying keep say, it. She says that every week, doesn't she? <laughs> um, so, we're here again. we've had a really busy week this week. Yeah, um, definitely. Done a big shift today, and we're still going now because we're doing the caravan corner. We've just finished over the cottage, so really it's been about, about 14, 15 hour shift today. Yes, nearly 10 o'clock um, at about night. Physical work <laughs> in about 12 hours. Um, yep. So it's been a busy one. Had some. Um, had a nice showers and got freshened up a bit. Yep, nice and freshened for the so, video. Do you want to say first sort of what's been going on? Yeah, yeah. Um, so this week we've been, um, early in the week we went up to Colin and Jane's and you'll see a tiny bit of that. They're, they're going to, they're, uh, they're called, um, I can't even remember it, country, Fren French Countryside, countryside life. life. Right, sorry. Uh, French Countryside Life. Um, they're another channel and, um, and they're friends of ours yeah. and uh, they're going off to this week to the Charon yeah. where they bought another house and Colin's going to do a whole new program of um, filming yeah. uh, so you can follow along weekly um, and we went there then we had we done some um, the chimney work uh, I've been with a friend of ours John he's got his cherry picker up and uh, we've been doing loads of work there um, he's been doing most of the work up on the on the thing, yeah. but we've been helping him feed the liners in and doing the you know downstairs work. Yeah. Um, but he's had a real hard task. He's done really well. Fantastic, fantastic. Didn't he? Yeah. You know, we're looking the... forward to seeing them all finished. Oh yeah, they're yeah. going to be there in the next couple of days. They're going to be finished. We'll have all the liners in. Uh -huh. uh, we'll have the caps off the top, or then we'll start to connect up all the heating systems, like all the different uh, wood burners. Yep. Uh, but he took off the granites, the great big granites, and they're like hundred. 90 to 100 kilos each yeah uh, he was struggling there and the machine was just about holding on you mm. know because they could only take one can at only, time, yeah you can only you? load up so much but the good thing is the granite actually costs a lot of money when it's yeah. molded mm -hmm. like that um so we're going to keep them we're going to make a feature of them as well we've got some ideas haven't yeah, we? yeah maybe yeah. a chair and you're thinking of well, another chair. feature i'm well. thinking of a little uh, water feature with some running water outside the house close to it yeah. um and some just a little feature with some goldfish running around in it or floating around in it, whatever. <laughs> they don't run, do they? They, they swim, yeah. Do they run in France, but, the um, goldfish? So we did that. Uh, I started, while John was up on the roof on the machine, I would shoot over to the field and start pulling out the uh, bank yeah. where we're going to, uh, the banking from the road into the field, yeah. where we're going to put a new road in because it's very dangerous, this little bit of road here. It's, it's just a tight little bend. It's not that we get a massive amount of traffic, but... When they do come, they come, around, come around, around fast. and it's a because the area is so beautiful for motorbikes yeah uh, you have come, like rallies that yeah. happen every year two or three times a year don't they so you'll see loads of different motorbikes yeah. and then they there might be and then the old cars, cars. Yeah, yeah that's car actually rally. lovely to see and they, isn't they it? come past here and they go off to the le mans you know the, yeah. the racetrack places but uh it's beautiful but it's a bit dangerous so we spoke to the the, the merry and the merry uh Put Sent the right person out. now, the council person, and they have said yes. We'll put the uh, sorry about the camera knocking, that was the dog. Um, and they've exactly. told us where we can put the uh, road in. Anyway, started that. Yeah, um, I've continued on, guess what, pointing. I've got you're going to see a lot of pointing over the next few months. I've got so much to do, but I, I've continued pointing on the front, but I ha I've had to stop because of the danger factor. It was too dangerous working under mm. the arm of the cherry picker just yeah. in case a stone a came down off, but i'll be able to carry on tomorrow breaking out cleaning the stones pointing and that'll be in next week's video won't fact it? by the way fact tracy has actually she don't know this but she's used nearly one and a half ton of sand wow pointing 
Oh my god! To an order point in, she's done, because it came it came in two two ton bags. Yeah. I used up oh, the, yeah, it's the first two ton, didn't I, nearly yeah. on certain projects? Yeah. And then we've got about just less than half a ton left, and Tracy's used all that, so that's but, thumbs up to Tracy. Yes. Well, um, I've ne I have pointed everything in the house, and I think yeah, virtually yeah, I will, like, I will find outside, something yeah. else to point. You'll be pointing the cottage as well soon. <laughs> anyway, it's endless though, isn't it? Let's get on to the uh, cottage. The cottage. So we we that's actually we come back from there. How about just we, come back um, from doing a tour of the cottage. So we're going to obviously take you from the front inside, and then obviously we're going to have a little peek outside and just we talk through our step by step plan of what we want. Very to briefly, achieve. just yeah. to keep it keep it brief. But it's it, yeah. it's it's basically it's a mid terrace cottage if you like yeah. and. They call it a cottage, so we call it a cottage. But um, you, you go in, you've got a big open ground floor. Yeah. Go upstairs where they had the kitchen and Be bedroom. bedroom. But the yeah. configuration's all going to change. And then you've got a lot of space that's empty, which is floor uh, floored. And they used it as a room at one stage. So we'll be doing that. But and you'll see that anyway. Yeah, and then out the back, you've got steps that actually go up to the attic, which you, we yeah. can make a nice sort of feature of that. But plans will change, change. obviously. But good news, the Patreon link now is now on our YouTube. Yep. And um, it's will be in the about or on the description as well. So when you link or press on the, the, the V on the um, YouTube, it will yep. tell you what the video is about. And if you scroll up, it's well, underneath. Well, on, it? that, on that point there, we had a few people uh, Ask. asking, where's your Patreon <coughs> page? Because we Excuse mentioned me. it last week. But we had a, a little bit of, I, it was my bad, I... I, I didn't get it right on how you upload it and everything but it's all done now yeah so it's in place the other thing i just want to say is is again last week's comments oh my god Lovely. it was just fantastic really really they are so inspiring the comments that it drives you to want to do each week so each week comes by and you're doing it you know because when you're working away and you're constantly working it's hard to break off yeah. and do other things mm towards the channel which is important we want to get this channel right yeah. and build it it's going to be slow but we'll get there you know at, at some stage but that was fantastic and the the <coughs> patron thing is if you come on board and you know uh, support our channel yeah. you're part of the channel you know you're helping us uh, to bring good content to you um, and everything you uh, you know you want to contribute to the channel We'll go into the cottage. It's going yeah. to be all, and you'll be part of that renovation yeah, as yeah. well. You know, it shows on all the different tiers of what what will, what you'll get basically for your money. What you, which you pay each month. Well, isn't it? well, they won't get there for their money, but it's no. it, it, would it. You know, we're new to this, so it's it's, yeah. it's it's hard for us. But you know, it it gives you that chance to be part of it, part of it with us. You know, we'll we'll. Peaks into you, you'll get and... some behind the scenes footage as well yeah. uh you know but we're going to give it to everyone on youtube all of it but you'll yeah. still get little bits that they won't get because it's only fair we said that last yeah. week patrons get little more yeah. perks don't and, they? and they deserve it because they, <coughs> they want to be part of what we're doing yeah and if you want to jump on board you know you're welcome don't feel obliged to just if you want to it's that it's no it's we'll keep making the videos anyway yeah. um Anyway, so the videos will be going on for a few years, I think, because yeah. it's just going to be endless. Isn't well, they it? will so do much. because we have so much time in Caravan Corner talking. Yeah. So. <laughs> do you think we might get some renovation? Do you um, think? What about? Let's have a vote. When do you think we'll get the renovation yeah. of the farmhouse finished? <laughs> anyway, so, uh, do you know our actual Caravan Corners are the same length sometimes of. Some, some people's videos, videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's because we waffle and chat too much that's the problem good job you know, the whole family well we're talking we sometimes look back on these video uh these caravan cords, and it's like we're talking to the audience you're in the caravan <laughs> standing there all chatting right <laughs> but the only thing is it's a one-way conversation yeah. between us <laughs> anyway anyway guys listen we're gonna go um so stay with the video uh yeah. you'll see the first few bits and then the, the second half is all about you know us going around the cottage and just having a look and talking about some suggestions yeah. and you know, if you want to throw your suggestions and ideas up to us and say, look, you know, this would be good here or that could be, oh, I like this, I like that, do it. You know, because we read every we read every single comment, every single comment, even yeah. if you just post a flower up or something like that, which we got one or two do that. Yeah, right? flowers They're, and Flowers and, and hands and whatever. But we read every one. So we take on board and we try to answer every one. Well, not have just answered select all. certain ones. That yeah, we we're not selecting to. them. We're no. picking. We're just coming back to you. Obviously, if we get bigger, 
then we we will um, you know we'll have to think about how we answer because it does take a good hour or yeah. so, doesn't it? But then you allocate the time because I always say I know obviously if you've got twenty go. thirty thousand yeah just quickly um, if people take the time to follow you they're giving up their time to follow you and be part of your adventure or whatever you're doing yeah. so I think you have to allocate that time to answer comments it's or it's like having a, I like a job it anyway. isn't it yeah I love I like, it I, I like the responses mind. and the chit chat anyway guys listen I'm faster than you let's stop answering questions <laughs> see you later next bon week weekend. bye So folks, this is our uh, our local list or closest town to us, Lolaley Abbey. Beautiful little town there. We always go past here this way. So you're going above it. You're up above the uh, town. Sorry, just watching the car. Uh, doing some renovations down here as well, which is nice. And our chemist is there, and the lovely bakeries. The Abbey's just round the corner there. Um, just thought I'd let you see that. Just so beautiful here. Look. Hand you around. We're just off to Colin and Jane's uh, to say farewell. Only well, for a short time because they're uh, let's go back in the car. See Tracy. Uh, yeah, they're um, they're moving to their lovely new house in the Sharon, which we'll uh, be popping down and visiting them in a few months when we get the renovations up a bit more. But uh, right, you right, Trace? I'm just going to put the little, uh, what's it, lens on. Okie So, there you go, that's a bit of, oh, is that clean? Sorry about that, you folks. Turned, you turned it round? Turn it round for you, yeah, you can just turn it, turn it round, slowly. Right, hop back in the car. Let me move over here. I'm going to, uh, I just told them we're going off to... Colin and James. Colin and James. Right, get me belt on. It's not goodbye though, is it? Because we've been invited down. Yes, for a holiday. Yeah, for a holiday to the Charon, and they've got a lovely swimming pool. Lovely as well. swimming pool. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm not sure what Colin and Jane are cooking because they've invited us for dinner. Yeah, we're gonna have some dinner with them. We've got um, a little prezi, a goodbye prezi. Yep. Oh wow, a new, new housewarming prezi. House, so they can plant it and think of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely rose plant. It's called the Budo Rose. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Not. <laughs> um, Not sure which one it is. It's scented as well. It's a scented rose, lovely. And uh, I bought um, a, pudding. Yeah, I bought a tata tan, and we're going to have that with creme fraiche. So, so beautiful down there, isn't it? Don't know if I can see that. Yeah, I'll be in that. Yeah. If you're ever in this part of the woods, it's worth a visit. Definitely come to Lon yeah. Lely Arbe. Yeah, it is so pretty here. So we're uh, right. Let's go. So this video time, this week. Yes. We're going to be doing. Um, Just going to turn around again. Yeah, we're going to be doing the um, the cottage. Really excited. So we're going to be going to the cottage when we no tomorrow when we start on there. Yeah, we'll be starting tomorrow. Um, we're going to survey it, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to survey it all. Look at it. First of all, we have to clear the front and clear the back. So that'd be the two first jobs we do. Yeah. Um, and then. Oh, I just want to check on a fuel. I was just going to say tank. that. Yeah, yep. um, and um, then we can survey the inside and work out a plan. So we haven't really got a plan of how we're going to have it finished, are we? No. We've been in there a few times and sort of had quick vision, haven't we? But this time we're going to just go through, start from the bottom and work our way up because it's actually three floors, isn't it? Well, it's really cool. Include the loft space, yeah, which is, has its own separate staircase on the outside too. Weird, isn't it? Outside, is, yeah. Um, and with its um, uh, two floors, yeah. it's got at the moment currently it's got like a kitchenette in the middle floor with a bedroom, which is a weird configuration, yeah. and then it's completely open on the downstairs where it needs new concrete floor and loads of stuff. But you'll see that anyway. I don't want to give too much away right now. No. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we're going to reconfigure that, but we'll think about that. Anyway, so... Uh, we'll see you at Colin and Colin James. Colin and we'll have a little uh, film there, and then we'll, uh, we'll the next bit you'll see after that will be all about the cottage. Okay, au revoir. Bye. Bon dimanche. So we're here at uh, Colin and Jane's. I just had some food with them. 
and a drink. And uh, just don't really ask me to come over here. What we got? Got a beautiful rose bush here. And uh, are you going to serenade us with that, Colin? Okay. There we go, look. Hello! <laughs> uh, so uh, Colin and that are packed up now, and Jane are packed up to uh, go and move. It's on the first, is it, Colin? It is on the first. First, yep. So they're going on the uh, first of the month and uh, getting very excited. Yeah, can't wait. Um, all the packing's done. Um, we've got to take the chickens down um, next week. Yes. And, um, and the noisy cockerel. And the noisy cockerel, Lionel. <laughs> and his Lionel Blairs. <laughs> Cockney slang. Yeah. Cockney And uh, yeah, it'll be good, so. Yeah, it will be, mate. The next step in the journey. Onwards and upwards, new adventure. The next step in the journey. Yeah, next step in the journey. And you know what that means for us? Don't say that thing, but I'm jealous he's got a swimming pool. Yes. <laughs> Let's film these chickens. Holidays, we? Yes, we've got three holidays there, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, Working holidays. There's the chickens there. They've got a lovely life here, these chickens. They've got a beautiful little house and electric doors and everything. They're, they're, they're actually living a better life than we are in the caravan. <laughs> uh, lovely. Anyway, we shall say... Au revoir. Au revoir. Meet you soon. A bientôt. <laughs> hey, there's John up there. Taking down the caps now. I took, took the caps off. We're just going to take the, uh, the stone down. We're going to bring it down by halfway and then point it all up, put the new liners on, and recap them. I said to him, rather than you than me, Gungadi. It's good old English army saying. <laughs> anyway. John's pulling off the uh, big lumps of granite now. I don't fancy his job. He's getting them all off so uh, we can both do the uh, get the uh, linings done on both chimneys and get all the pointing done. Put the new caps on, which are over here. So we're going to use these uh, heavy duty. They're a heavy duty style, um, dense concrete uh, uh, slab, ideal for this situation. We just cut some holes in them to put the uh, liners in. So, uh, slowly, slowly catch a monkey. Yeah, he's doing well, John. It's not an easy job. Okay, so this is a uh, project I've started now. Now, if you look in the road, 
the council have marked there and it goes past over there where we can have a new drive in a driveway so i'm just digging it out now hence i'm knackered i'm running around and doing things just ran over to john who's up on the chimney up there if you can see him can you he's up on the chimney um zoom in a bit for you he's uh he's just taking him top uh, granites off really heavy but they can't have two in the bucket because uh, the weight is over the limit plus with the granite you know so uh, he's doing a grand job but anyway coming back to where I was so this is going to be the new road in coming off the road here along here down and round um, and the trees will be gone then you'll get a full perspective of the house in the distance as you're driving up to it down this side will be um sorry it'll be all uh what do i call it uh, uh rail and post and rail fencing and then we're going to do a little post and rail fencing in this corner as well so you have a nice road through here if you like and uh once i get my horses which i'm going to be getting either some uh i might get two irish cobs if i can if not uh, which are varnas like uh, 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 gypsy cobs and if I can't get them then I'm going to get some two Ar a couple of Ardennes or at least one and then go from there uh, and then we can keep keep them coming up on the field here put them at the front of the property where people can see them and then they can go on the other side behind me which I'll show you another time and uh, they can keep the fields you know cropped and they're going to live over the back there when I'll set up a, a little area for them um, and build them a little um, uh, shelter to sit stay in or stable as such um but anyway i thought to show you that's quite interesting so this line here natural line is maybe not go there not sure it might go a bit wider yet um and then let me show you down here what i'm doing so i've dug out all this so far this morning with a digger so i'm just coming down to the road level keep going down keep going down so i can get quite a few ton of uh scalpings or whatever here i've done this side as well a little bit just to give us a run in so that's the width uh, it's going to be a little bit wider than that actually so that'd be the width of the opening as you come in so you can get a car coming in and the car going out um hey and what a view eh what a view when you're driving out your drive eh <laughs> so we've got the two chimneys down even now size oh john's done that um it's coming down now just put this liner in uh, so that liner is all the way up now we're going to cut it off at the chimney where it's high and then there'll be two more liners come out of this for the other for the short chimney from the bedroom and then this uh, chimney down here into the what's going to be the dining room uh, I thought I'd show you that's a bit interesting see how these trucks comes off the ground look amazing isn't it sits like a foot and a half off the ground fantastic let's have a look at these now so john's done a nice job even them out and he's going to point them all up and then we're going to have these slabs here just here i'll show you these these are the top slabs that are going to go on after to give it a uh, nice top on there and a little overhang of two inches either side so uh me and tracy are here now at the front of the cottage we're going to show you the cottage Bonjour, everyone. yeah the first part of it it's late in the evening for us because uh we've been having a really busy day with the chimneys and lots of fun. We've had a good 12 13 hour shift today then the cars go by <laughs> anyway so this is the front of the cottage and we've got a lot of foliage here it all needs clearing up so our first job here when we start this cottage which we're going to spend one to two days every week in is we're going to clear the front first get all the ivy off the wall that's over there they're going to start hacking out the um the lime the old lime mortar and start repointing it so it looks like uh, our neighbor uh she's a french latest french and she's from paris we think uh, we spoke to her a couple of times but we don't really know her yet um, but we've got some nice friends living over there now, French friends living in there. We're anyway, going for dinner, aren't we? Bessie? Yes, we'll be going dinner soon. <laughs> but uh, so this is the front of the cottage. This is where we're starting, right? And then up on the roof, you can see it's got a lot of uh, lichen and stuff growing on the roof, uh, moss. So we're going to clear all that off slowly. 
the chimney needs a good clear up as well and a check there is a pot up there and it's a closed off chimney unlike the other one which is handy um, and then we've got the stairs here which are down here Tracy do you want to have a little forage through there and try and get up so these are the stairs here we're going to clear all these uh, and see what we've got underneath here so just bear with me because I've got to get up and do the camera work at the same time yeah <laughs> So we've got quaint little windows. We can re-putty these, tidy them up, paint them. They're in good condition. They're not really rotten. Just this seal on this one needs a little look at. This one upstairs is good as well. Um, the door we're going to change completely. It's a little bit of a tricky opening, that one, Trey. Yep, I've got it. Yeah, go on, go in. No, last time I came, I couldn't. Right, bear with us, everyone, because the light in here is appalling. We've got no light. Okay, um, I don't even think they're going to see in there, Trey. No. Uh, we're going to need head torches. Yeah. So, we'll Let get, get some from, I've, I've got them in the back of the car. Yeah, I'll we'll get some get We'll get some head torches and then we'll come back to you. Right, let's have a little pan round in here. I've uh, got a torch now. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> oh, <a> bit spooky. <laughs> spooky, spooky. But look at these big lovely beams. <laughs> And that, but anyway, Tracy. Hello, how are you? Oh, yeah. Right, okay. In, obviously, we're inside downstairs of the cottage. We've got all the torches in there. We've Sorry. got the electric and the water connected um, up yeah. in place. All we have to do is get them <coughs> connected, which is a bonus, isn't it? Yeah. But we've only been in here a few times, haven't we? So they've obviously started work, haven't they? Because all the floor has been, been dug out. out, dug out, hasn't yeah. it? So, and also over here. So it's a bit of a cave at the moment, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> concrete stairs in. So obviously. Excuse me, I've got a clocky throat. It was supposed to be progressing, you, wasn't it? Well, so what are you thinking about in here? <laughs> Well, this, that staircase is coming out. Yeah. So I'm going to reconfigure that. I'm going to make a new straight flight over on this back wall here mm -hmm. behind Tracy. Let me come over here the uh, we're going to dig all the floor, rest of the floor out where they've started down, put all the services in, concrete it, um, open up these windows a little bit, make them a bit, well, a bit more fresher, really. Um, Let me have a look, because they're in, they just need a little bit of work, don't they? So they're in good condition. Yeah. <clears throat> They just need a good paint up, putty, yeah, clean up, let the light in. Once you get rid of all the foliage outside as well, because the sun comes up that side, it, all the light will come in. Um, so we'll clear these walls off, put some pointing on there, um, and you know just reconfigure this. So downstairs here will be uh, the kitchen dining area. Yeah. This will be. Uh open plan front room and kitchen dining area so yeah it'll be a front room as well because it is actually quite a large space yeah I yeah that's what we'll have to it will be and i'll have to configure the staircase yeah. which will open it up and then that window there's a window up the back there yeah, I can see that. that's been stone walled in or blocked in where the staircase is so once the staircase moves we can open that window back up and let more light flood in here um, should we uh, head upstairs? Yes, we will. <coughs> key. You need, open. You'll need the key. Let me. Uh, so down here, look. They put some concrete steps in, and then put the staircase on. It was just a bodge up, I suppose. But we won't, uh, we won't be worrying about that. <coughs> it's gone really dark now, hasn't it? It has. Is it this key? Uh, no, I think that door's open, Trace. It's oh, just right, the key for the back. Come on. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a built-in cupboard here. All that's coming here. out. Yeah. All that's coming back to walls because they've masked over the walls. So in here, if you uh, come out of the way for a second, Trey. I have to because you're shining. Where Tracy's now is, well, we'll just go around there. They've got a little kitchenette they had and sink. Okay. It's a bit pathetic, and really. So they were planning something. They were planning but that's going anyway, the yeah. whole lot. So we're going to clear all this out. This stairwell will be gone. There'll be another way up with an open plan staircase coming up. Um, got a window here as well. This uh, fireplace here. Sorry. Oh, yeah, they've got a window yeah. there. That's in good condition as well, isn't it? Yeah. 
lovely view to the woodlands. Once we, ah, that's another thing. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a sec. So they've had a fire in uh, in a stove or some fireplace in here at some stage. So we'll re use that again, clear it all up, clean it all up. Uh, it looks like they've had some uh, soot come down or something yeah. on here. So we'll have to take that all down it's gently. Here, it, yeah, I can see it's all coming through. It's just not been clean, that's all. Yeah. And then there's some sort of bathroom in here. No, not no, bathroom, bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> so there's some sort of bedroom in here. Um, Was there a bed when we first? No. No. I know, it's always been like this since we've had it. So we'll, we'll, we'll be gutting this completely. But the good thing is underneath, there's a good floor. Yeah, I was just going to say that, so I'll just sand that back in. <clears throat> well, we've got to take all the stud work off and, yeah. um, like you say, sand it back and then just, window we've got a good window. start there. Um, yeah, the window, oops, sorry, I'm spinning you around, guys. So this window's in good condition. Yeah. Um, Still need cleaning and sun's still hanging out there isn't it yeah, it's, lovely. <laughs> it's good here because in, in in france where we are now it doesn't get dark at, at night till 11 o'clock at night and then it starts to get dark uh this time of the year so it's a it's a long long uh daylight you know yeah. which is good for working and that and then out here so look this looks real spooky down there look but there's another window up here as well so that this will all be gone this stud wall and that window will let light in as well, so that we can gain a lot of light. This is all stud as well. Yeah, it's all. It's like um, it's like a hardboard. Yeah. They've just stuck over the stone because they didn't want to point it. And uh, same with the ceiling. We'll pull all that down. It'll be a complete, complete full job. Right, Trace, you know, give me the key. Sorry, folks. It's a. Uh... That one isn't it. No, it's not. It's uh... the same one, is it? It's. Oh, it might be that one there, let's have a look. Have a look. So I'm going to just uh, try and open this door here. No, I think it's the other one, the one I did give you. Just bear with me guys. Looks like it. There we go. Is it a double locker? There we go. So now, this is a funny old configuration as well. Yeah. Let me just uh, go outside. So we're now out in the back of our woodland, all right? And uh, someone's having a fire tray. Smoke. Oh. Anyway, so you've got the woodland here, right? And that goes round. You go round there, and our house is around there, where you know where we walk in normally. Um, but we're going to clear all this area here, right back for about, I don't know, about uh, 20 metres or so, maybe a bit further squared off and then we'll um we'll put a nice little garden out here and possibly later on something like a nice um hot tub or something now this is the upstairs <laughs> yeah you be careful trace because it's not all set up yet all right, so don't put your hand on this handrail all right um so this was the door in here to the loft and then this loft, whether, whether we incorporate this into the cottage, I don't know yet. Um, but it's a big space. Someone's had a washing line up here, look. Hanging their laundry on. Um, but it's a big enough space that you could have a, a decent couple of bedrooms here, even a bathroom and a bedroom, like, you know. Put a stud wall down the centre, split it into two. But we'll, we'll have a look there anyway when we uh, yeah, we come to, to that. Down the First thing to do is clear the front, clear the back, and then gut it. Yeah. Take all the uh, all the so we can see everything. Work out where all the services are going. It's yeah, it's a little truss up there. Yeah. See, the thing is, this these three buildings in the line. We're all connected at one stage as one and the house we own uh the, the farmhouse used to own all this as well o owned the whole lot they've obviously sold them off bit by bit so i'm gonna go down here backwards while i can see you um and then the person we bought it off started buying the, some of the plots yeah sort of it he, we something. think he did anyway but the thing is is we uh sorry i'm going down these stairs backwards guys so we come back in here. 
yeah so he uh they used to own all the property that along here and some other properties across the road and down the road and owned uh in total i think it was 26 hectares of land and forest uh woodland and uh properties and then it was broken up and sold off in bits it's a bit tricky that one trade do you want me to do that yeah i'm not sure does it right. go in there so I'll oh right that's unusual yeah I'll um, it's a, it's a, there that's it lovely um anyway so our plans up here we would two bedrooms definitely have two bedrooms up here and a shower room and yeah a shower room or, or a bathroom shower room so we'll configure that into this space up here downstairs will turn into a kitchen front room an open plan front room open kitchen. plan front room kitchen yeah. um and that would give this a, to be a definite two bedroom yeah. property with all facilities if we configure the staircase different as well upstairs mm -hmm. we could definitely get another bedroom and bathroom up there or possibly two bedrooms or have a, i'd rather have a bigger bathroom up there yeah. and a bedroom and then have these as two good bedrooms yeah. here well, it might be a little bit small but it could be an independent area couldn't it yeah. do you understand so you you could use this and upstairs so we've yeah. got to think about that because there's a lot of possibilities so yeah. everyone watching this yeah you can understand we're going to need a real good bit of imagination in here which we've got in the bunkers but we'll um we'll you know we'll, we'll put something together yeah. put some ideas together and try and um you know get the get some sort of pay uh, written you know we could draw it down and yes. work out the sizes the foot plans and everything yes. where the where the staircase comes up into this space yeah. uh and then the landing leads off into two rooms and so on so you'll have to uh, bear with us and you know we'll get some sort of uh imagination or you lot have to have imagination to think how we're going to do this everyone's input all helps doesn't it by just removing this i mean that's strange isn't it open it up isn't it this reminds me of something in the old like 1970s banks you know where they had the yeah. open top like that <laughs> but they were obviously had yeah. plans for this because there's a kitchen just over this uh oh ceramic yeah i noticed that <laughs> well we'll try and take that out nicely that's not in too bad condition could clean that up, could we, for that magic and there uh, do you remember the old taps when they used to have the blue yeah. colors and red not cool really. that's in them for a long time uh but yeah this could be made into an <clears> again, couldn't it really yeah and then then if you look outside it's sorry about the light uh it's getting dark now but, um just cover that light off for you so you've got the woodland here this is our source of energy for the house uh, that's another thing we've got to think about here is the heating what we do here might have to have a different heating system in here you might have to have central heating yeah probably let me just go over here so it's an infestation of flies that what did you get plus the flies there. Yeah. Let's clean that up. I won't get rid of it. Needs a lot of work, Troy. It is, but we're. Hey, look. Little dresser for someone. Could little be painted, though, couldn't it, really? Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it at that. So, you've got an idea of what it all looks like. It's uh, not as romantic as you would think until you uh, actually come and see it. This is probably in good condition for France. But it's in good condition, yeah. Believe it or not, it's in real good condition. It just needs a full. Uh, internal renovation which it will get anyway we'll leave it at that tell us what you think so there's a little bit of interesting detail here um, if you see here there's a little mace, uh, my, uh, my, mason's mitre here in stone going up in this uh, granite goes all the way up here okay up to this lintel which is a short lintel it's a bit too short for this opening um, then you've got some nice detail in the granite there as well okay and this just shows you how in france that they reutilized um stone from other properties as they fell down they'd bring it into this so these were probably put in this property a couple of hundred years maybe 300 years two or 300 years ago but i can bet that this come off a real substantial building uh here again around the window you can see 
the, the mitre, but it stops at the stone because they ran out of this granite. So they stone put the stone here, yeah. And then in in the in the granite, you can see where there's steel bars would come through. Uh, they weren't meant for this window, but for the situation they were meant for, wherever they were put. And also up here, look, so you can see them here. So the holes where the steel bars would have gone through. So that says to me it's some sort of like castle with a fortment or something, you know, of something substantial in there. And then if you look at, say, this window, this is just plain Jane, as they say. Oh, uh, oak lintel, stone on top, and then they just throw a granite in there and there. And then moving over to the next part, you can see this is our neighbours now, they've just painted, pointed this up. You can see that stone again in there, that granite where they've done the mould, and here, look at this, look. I'll show you this one as well. So it comes down here, and then you've got some sort of shape here, could have been a face, don't know. But it's really interesting that they uh, reutilised all the uh, stone from other properties back in the day. Yeah, that's what I just said. That's that's a. I mean that lintel, that lintel there, is so substantial. The depth of that, that could hold up four or five stories above that easily. You know. Look at the shape of the stone. Yeah. I've not seen them. What do you think that might be? Don't know. I wouldn't know what it's what it's called, but no. it's a it's just a, a style they use because we've got it in the farmhouse, but we've got a fleur de lis in the middle yeah. of it. So it's something that's come off. The, so there must have been some sort of old castle around here at one stage. It started went to rack and ruin, and they used it for patching up buildings. Because yeah. you look you look at all the buildings around here, you see it everywhere, <laughs> you know. And and this really stands out because you have got little blobs of granite there, if you like, put in just botched in and then this has been put on top which has got that nice chamfer there and they just reutilise it's lovely it is lovely bit of history put into an old property but uh Trace is going to repoint all this so so she's going to hook all this out repoint it clear all the ivy off we'll uh, do all the windows up and I thought I'd show you that I thought you might be interested anyway okay <laughs>